Hey, it's been a while. How are you doing? <laughs> That's really nice to hear. Oh, but me? Uh, I'm good. Well, there is something I have wanted to talk about with you, but I would rather talk about it face to face. Uh, since it's more of a serious topic and I don't really feel like discussing about it over the phone. No, 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 it's, it's not that I'm moving away or something, it's nothing like that, don't worry. Oh, sweetie, I, I didn't mean to scare you, but could we meet today at the park so we could disc discuss about stuff? <laughs> Alright, amazing. I'll see you there then, okay? <laughs> Bye. I love you. Hey, oh my god, I missed you so much. I know it's only been like a few days since we last hang out, but I really missed you so much. But yeah, <clears throat> I guess we should talk now then, or I should talk. I don't really know where to start. Well, there really isn't a simple way to get started. But please don't hate me after this or just leave me here hanging since I have been keeping this as a secret for a while. And there is a reason why I haven't ever talk talked about this with you. But I know I can trust you since you're my best friend of many years and I really hope these things I'm about to tell you won't ruin our almost ten, year, 10 years of friendship. This first thing I'm about to tell you isn't like the most biggest thing ever, but I have been questioning my gender identity for a while, or maybe for a little longer than a while and I came to the conclusion that I'm non-binary and I came to that conclusion maybe like a year ago but I was just really afraid of people and how they would react and uh, when I actually found out about my identity, I was like, yeah, I really like the pronouns they, them, and it, it's so, I go by those now, and I know I haven't told you about this, but I was really scared how you would react, and I really didn't want to ruin everything, anything, or everything. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know I should have told you earlier, but I really just couldn't bring myself up to it. And 
it was just really hard to even bring this topic out even now and I know I should have talked about this earlier. <laughs> hey. Don't don't feel bad. It's it's my fault, <laughs> okay? You don't have to feel bad about the times you used to refer to me with she her pronouns when I was like already okay with my own identity <laughs> you didn't know and I should have told you earlier so it's my fault <laughs> don't, don't worry about it it's okay you really didn't know and <laughs> but hey better later than never <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, me being non-binary just means that I don't want to be associated with like women nor with men. I don't want to be referred as a woman or a man, you know? <laughs> just an existing blob. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I was really afraid that you wouldn't accept me like I was really scared that you would be like no and just deny everything <laughs> and I know I shouldn't assume that everyone is the same but when you come out of the closet sometimes you just face so many times people judging you and Telling you that it's just a phase or that non-binary is not even a real thing, so I just don't want to be target of hate over and over again just because I come out to people <laughs> I have been called a lot of names trust me Oh my god, you're literally the best friend ever. <laughs> Can I hug you? <laughs> no, I'm just so relieved that this didn't rain anything. But now I'm even more scared of the second thing will ruin everything. <laughs> but YOLO, I guess. <sighs> I want you to listen to me really closely and really carefully, okay? Okay. You know, we have been friends for a really long time and we have had our ups and downs and nothing could apart us from one another. I really appreciate everything about you and I'm so glad to be calling you my best friend. I have always adored you and looked up to you ever after the first time we met each other. These 10 years of friendship have been the most amazing and we have always been there for each other. <laughs> and especially you have been always there for me, to comfort me, even after my ex-partners have broken my heart so many times. <laughs> you were always there and I really appreciate it. But never ever had I guessed that all those years I had been pushing away my feelings that were there. <laughs> my feelings towards you, my best friend. 
never ever had I thought about falling for my best friend this badly. <laughs> but what can I do about it? My best friend is literally the most amazing person ever. And also the sweetest, to say the least. <sighs> and I have found myself thinking about you so many times when hearing those specific songs that talk about ruining your friendship or wanting to be your friend's girlfriend and I have already accepted the fact that I most likely won't be anything else than a friend to you and it may be true but I can't hold it in anymore I fucking love my best friend more than anyone in my life and there's nothing that can change the fact that I have fallen for you so hard that there isn't even a way to get me out of there. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said any of that. I knew you wouldn't feel the same way about me. Can you at least say something? Please? Please don't be so quiet. I totally understand you. You don't want to be friends anymore after this. Uh, what? You felt the same way, but <laughs> never had the courage to tell me because you were afraid that I would reject you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Did you just tell me to shut up and kiss you? <laughs> you are so adorable. This was maybe the most amazing day of my life. <laughs> right after the first time you met. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This was the most amazing day of my life. Hey, hey, um, thank you for staying until the very end of the video. I have a little ad. No, it's not sponsored. Um, but did you know that the Rocky Spaceman cult, aka this little community, has their own Minecraft server? <laughs> well, now you know. And if you wish to play there, you can join through the port in the description, find it on the screen, or find it on my link tree. And if you are already on the RBC Discord, you can also join through there. So what is the RBC's Minecraft server all about, you may ask? Let me tell you. We have a amazing little server there where there is, for example, a possibility of gathering currency, which you can then use to make in-game purchases to get goodies such as pads, food, or even armor. 
and we also have some really cool buildings such as a underground library that hides secrets inside of it we have a crafting hut a mine hut the market plaza and so much more and if you are on the discord server you also have probably noticed that there is a possibility to talk in the voice channels at the same time while playing on the server and lastly we also now have a giveaway going on there where you can get a ready-built house that was designed and built by rocky so by me <laughs> and if you are interested either in just going to play on the server or getting a free house and playing just join the server and we will be giving away as as much houses as there is available for new players. I really hope seeing many of you all there because it would be so nice to play with you all because we have made a server with a lot of love and a lot of effort and it was made just for you all. <laughs>